Hey, what's going on everyone? Eric Ross, the guy with the eye here. And today I actually want to talk about a book I just picked up. And uh, if you know, I, if you don't know me, I am just a little bit of a book reader. Not so much, but it, if it involves technology or like ask or like Gary Vaynerchuk, I, I'm going to pick it up or it's just something that really inspires me or just, you know, intrigues me. And I'm just like, wow, this is awesome. So I was at the bookstore and I needed to waste some time. And, you know, I came across this book and this is something that I've, I've heard a ton about. A lot of people, you know, hype it up. And it is Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon, or hopefully that's how you say his last name. And uh, this is it. This is how big the book is. And it's like 12 bucks. I got it for 12 bucks at Barnes & Noble, so you could check it out. It's not like $30 or anything like that. And I just really wanted to give my review on it because I actually had enough time to pretty much read this whole thing front and back. I mean, if you can grab my attention, that's fantastic because that's why I like YouTube videos and everything because my attention span is of a gnat if it's not anything of interest. Like, I, I have a hard time breaking through if it's just something that doesn't grab me. So if you got me, especially in a book-wise, oh my God. And I'm really glad I did because I learned a lot from this. Like I was saying, I actually read this entire thing and I'm like, you know what? I, I could have honestly not paid for it. I could have just put it back and left the store because I already read it. But this has so much little snippets and information here. I just felt like I needed to make a review about it to share this with you because it's not expensive and it is something that uh, a couple key points stuck out to me. I'm going to tell them to you and just kind of break this down a little bit. And this is 100% worth a read and a buy, in my opinion. So I don't do a lot of book reviews, but with stuff that I do, this is pretty cool. Austin's got two books. One, I think, is called Share Your Work as well. And then you have Steal Like an Artist here. And this is so pop uh, popular because it just touches you in a way that, um, and he has a little tagline here, so I should explain that. And that's 10 things nobody told you about being creative. Now, I've been doing YouTube, a, would say a while now, three, four years, three years. Two, two or three more years more seriously, and I've been taking my business more seriously and sharing and all the kind of social media. There is a lot of things that people don't tell you, but he's got 10 key points or chapters that he puts through this like 150, 160 page book that I'm gonna just talk to you about and talk about some of the key points. So going down the list right here, he's got steal like an artist, don't wait until you know who you are to get started, write the book you wanna read, use your hands, interesting. Throughout this entire book, you get gems, you get graphs, you really get into the mind of Austin on this one and you just see of how he's doing it. And you know, it's just interesting that his first chapter is pretty much the same title of the book, Steal Like an Artist. And essentially I broke that down as, and it, and it is kind of obvious and prevalent, as you, you are a creative, or you are an artist, be it a YouTuber, a photographer, a drawer, you are simply an artist. You have a mindset of someone who's creative, but you need inspiration. So what do we do? We look to people who inspire us, these influencers out there, and we try to think like them. So what he says in here is like, essentially you're stealing their ideas, but you're not copying them. The whole point of this whole book, uh, I, I feel, obviously you can read it for yourself, is that you really get into the mindset of the person or, or the mindset of the people, your heroes and everything, and just really kind of grasp how they do things. So you copy, I don't know if the word steal is accurate, but you like copy their mindset to see if it's something you can apply to yourself and to your work of your everyday life to see if it can really help you become a better artist than you are now. So a couple key things stuck out with me. I took on my phone because I didn't have any post-its or anything. I didn't want to mark the book up, but it's up, uh, but it's pretty on, it's pretty much uh, at the beginning of the book. And it's one of the things he mainly says, and he didn't coin this term obviously, but it's but it's fake it till you make it. Talk about what you know. Don't necessarily be fake and just pretend you know some things, but share what you know, but don't not do anything. So basically do something, don't hold yourself back. If you have to be boring, like he says in here, then be boring, but get out and do it at least start. Get some infrastructure behind of whatever social media thing you're doing or whatever you're doing as you're becoming an artist and as you get into the game. But the other point that stuck out to me, and it's true, is that you should really kind of get out of your house. And he says, the point is, the world is a stage. Creative work is kind of a theater. The stage is the world. It's your studio. Uh, it could be your desk. You know, everything that you do really comes out from your environment around you, whatever you do. So get out. Be creative because the... The world is your stage and, you know, stealing like an artist, you are looking into the mind of someone else and someone else's work and breaking it down, famous photographers or anything like that. And you're seeing how they use the world for themselves, especially a Casey Neistat is a perfect example of this in his vlogs and how he uses everything, be it a rail to hold his camera or a boost board to do something else. 
That dude knows how, uh, he mean, he masters this uh, without a doubt. Probably one of the smartest businessmen and creatives in, uh, uh, in a long time. And on page 105, there's another big header that really stuck out to me, and it's quit picking fights and go make something else. So there is a lot of people out here, especially the trolls, and especially the people who keep wishing that they could do something. So if you want to become an artist, stop just sitting behind your computer, not doing anything. You have to go out and do something yourself. You have to not pick fights, not complain, not be like, I can't get my work done or anything like that do it something good can come of it if you're abs if you're doing absolutely nothing nothing good will come of it because you're doing nothing go out share your work just interact network like I made a video about and things can come your way if you really try and give one eighth of a crap about what you're doing. So just go out, stop complaining, stop picking fights as he calls it. I kind of took it as complaining and go make something of yourself and whatever message you're trying to spread. So the psychology of everything down, I thought one more cool thing uh, that, that he put in here as I was like writing letters to fans and, and why this means something. And it just, it's just the mentality of the times. And uh, one thing that I even believe in, and I don't really want reciprocation for anything unless someone truly means it. So if I'm very thankful for something, I thank someone and don't expect anything uh, you know, in response. If they do, I am blown away and floored out. And those are the people who are influencers and heroes, the people, because they understand what the heck they're doing in the social media world. And they're just genuinely more nice people. And in one of the parts he writes is here is, one of his friends says, the best way to get approval is to not need it. If you truly love someone's work, you shouldn't need a response from them. And if, it's, and if the person you wanna write is someone for you or is someone who really means something for you, I honestly think that you don't need to, you know, stalk them on Twitter, hit them up 19 times a day. Just say thank you. Stop asking for follows or DMs and everything like that. If you're very genuine to someone else, they're gonna be genuine back for the most part if they're a genuine person. I am 100,000% sure you're gonna get way more out of the book than maybe I have. You're gonna get some other points that stuck out to you as well. So definitely check out Steal Like an Artist. Once again, this grasped my attention. That's a big deal, especially for myself. Check it out. I'll have an Amazon link down below. Just go buy it. It's like 10, 12 bucks, if not maybe used. It's paperback. It's an easy read. It's, it, it, it's a great inspirational book. And uh, as I said, there are some things that really stuck out to hear that I'm like, you know what? I got to buy this book. I wanted to support this artist. And so uh, Austin, it, you'll never see this probably, but uh, thank you for making a book like this. A lot of key things really stuck out to me. Thank you so much.